let's get back into this. <clears throat> Getting to work on a normal Thursday morning. Spring is in the air. Summer is just around the corner. Of course, spring is the best season. No, 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 not my bad. Spring is a good season. Fall is the best season. Especially, I would say, the Northeast, where I'm at. The fact that we're able to enjoy four seasons, that is a plus we have on every other area of the country. I believe there's probably a, I don't know, a uh, little feel of four seasons in other places, but I don't think it's more pronounced than it is in the Northeast. Only because our cold gets pretty cold, our warm gets pretty warm, and the break from both is very nice. I want to talk a little, let's say Cowboys football. But he loves the Cowboys. And if you don't love the Cowboys, you hate the Cowboys. Or you're a secret closet Cowboys fan. But I always say, if you hate the Cowboys, you're just a secret fan. And I know you might be an Eagles fan or a Fag Niners fan, you know. But hey, you all secretly want to love the Cowboys. And I understand. It's America's team, right here. And the way we have not dominated the NFL, but still stayed at the number one valued team in the world. We have done nothing but grow in value, but stay mediocre for 30 years. <laughs> so we are showing them how to do it, right? It's it's been a rough go now for about 30 years to be a Cowboys fan. Back in our heyday in the early 90s, man, what could have been if Jerry did not get in his own way and get rid of Jimmy? How many Super Bowls could the Cowboys have won? Could we have been known as the greatest dynasty ever if an owner that wanted too much credit didn't get in the way? Could we have won four in a row? I think that's at least, I mean, feasible. Maybe five? If we would have won not only like four, but what if we won five in a row? Because the year we didn't win in between two and three, we, we made it to the championship game. And you don't think having Jimmy Johnson would have got us just that little bit of oomph? But again, I was young, and I really got to enjoy those Super Bowls. In fact, I'll tell you the way I became a Cowboys fan. When I was 10 years old, not 10 years old, I don't know, I was like 7 or 8. But the Super Bowl was on my birthday. And it, I believe it was 92, I want to say. And it was Cowboys against Bills. It was the second time they went at it. And... At that time, I was a Chiefs fan only because I liked Indians. I, had a, I liked playing Indians. I liked the bow and arrows and all that stuff. I was a big Chiefs fan. I liked Marcus Allen. I loved it when Joe Montana came to the Chiefs. But I didn't know enough of football. I didn't know much about it. I know my father was a Cowboys fan. But I watched that game. And the game, like I said, the, the game played on my birthday. So I just basically said, as a kid... Whoever wins this game is my new favorite team. And I know it sounds so simple. The two best teams playing that year in the Super Bowl. But again, I was like seven or eight or something. I was a kid. And the Cowboys won. And that's it. I've been a Cowboys fan for like 30 years now. 30 some years. Because they beat the Bills in the Super Bowl in 92. That's the only reason. And then as years went on, I kind of uh, hardened that Cowboys fandom because I realized how many people hate the Cowboys. <laughs> I mean, honestly, you can move to any state in this country and whoever state has a football team, if you tell them you're a Cowboys fan, they're probably going to hate your team. Because for some reason, every team hates the Cowboys. I mean, I think it's jealousy. I think the fact that, I mean, especially the Patriots, they got to be jealous as shit. Because they've done nothing but dominate the NFL for like two decades. And they couldn't sniff the value of the Cowboys. Which, I mean, I, I, I don't know why they took hold so hard. 
And maybe it was way back when Tom Landry put in the seeds of God's team. I believe it was him who said it. There used to be, at the old Cowboy Stadium, a hole in the roof, the same shape and size as the field. And from my understanding, the, the rumor, the, the legend of it was so God can look down on a Sunday afternoon and watch his Cowboys play football. Which, I'm not sure how real that statement is, but I thought it was kind of cool. Maybe it was stuff like that. The Cowboys have a mystique, a legend. And I'm telling you, if, if in any chance the Cowboys in the next 10, 20, 30 years get any sort of like dynasty whatsoever, if you think we're popular now, NFL ratings would skyrocket. It would be the greatest Super Bowl in the history, probably almost double if the Cowboys were in it. Just would be. Because I, I know me as a Cowboys fan, I have a hard time watching the Super Bowl. Maybe because I want them to make it so bad. Well, but if the Cowboys fan, I know. I mean, I hear all times in Sports Center on ESPN, on Fox, Cowboys fans are delusional. Maybe I'm one of the non delusional ones. I know for a fact every year we are not going to the Super Bowl. <laughs> Just because I have 30 years of history to back my claims. But I also know in football, what makes football the greatest sport in the world over any other sport. Not one other sport can say this. Right now, going into the NFL season, in the off season, I think there are 32 teams. 30, 32. So it's one of those two. But I guarantee, I really want to say all of them. I think every single team in the NFL, every team has a slight chance of going on a hot streak and winning the Super Bowl this year. And there is not one team that I can't make an argument for that they can go on and win the Super Bowl this year miraculously. And that's what makes football so great. Basketball, you can't say that. Baseball, you can't say that. Hockey, I don't know. I don't watch a lot of hockey. I mean, I would watch more, but when you don't have half of the best athletes in the world playing, I mean, it's, it's not the best athletes. I mean, nothing against hockey. Just never got into it. It was never my thing. But I can honestly make... I can talk myself into any team winning the Super Bowl next year. Every team has hope. Legitimate hope. And it's, it's not like it's far-fetched. I mean, Bears. They were what? The worst team in the league last year, right? The Bears. Who would not be surprised is if some reason their quarterback... Oh, what the hell is his name? I can't think of it. They, they get from Ohio State. Um, anyways, if he took a step forward and those wide receivers they brought over started hitting and their defense started playing like a halfway decent defense who would not be surprised if he somehow got hot and started running through teams in the NFL anybody surprising Jaguars been a doormat for 10 years now right Trevor Lawrence took a step last year who would not be surprised if he won the MVP this year and they won the division anybody Houston fucking Texans D'Amico Ryans took over the Houston Texans. What is he known for? For his defense. What if, because he did go pretty defense heavy in the draft. What if by some chance he brought his magic elixir and they became a dominant defense and ran the ball and played keep away? Could they not win a few games to sneak in and make some noise? Honestly, football is the best sport in the world because of that. Because of that fact. And nobody wants to basically admit it. People who love baseball, love soccer. See, I don't, I, I don't know soccer. I, maybe. I was always told the kids in school played soccer. The kids didn't make the football team. In America, anyway. Maybe it's flipped in the other country. But I always think football is a gladiator form of chess. It's what it is. It's play versus play. Mine versus yours. I pick a play. Then you pick a play to match. And we go head to head and we see what happens to that play. We do it again and again and again till time runs out. But football's gone right now. And 
I really don't care if the world grabs on to football. I really don't. I mean, if they jump onto that bandwagon and love football like Americans do, awesome. But that just means we'll have, like, I don't know, European football leagues or a team in Mexico or a team in Korea. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But football, as precisely the Cowboys, are America's team. It is America's sport with America's team leading the way. And there is nothing anybody can say about it. And I loved for years. I loved for years because I always hated Philly. Because you understand me growing up as a Cowboys fan in Pennsylvania. How many Philly fans were everywhere. And the years of McNabb. They kicked our asses for years. And the games weren't close most of the time. I just remember playing the Eagles and losing like 45 to 10. Maybe they... The Cowboys dominated early 90s, but I was a baby then. In the early 2000s, late 90s, I mean, early 2010s, the Eagles dominated us. But right now, we're both kind of decent. The Eagles are really good. I thought we were halfway decent. But again, Cowboys fans don't think we're going to win it every year. We just think there's hope. And for every single team there is. And for you to say there isn't, you're lying. Anyways, have a good day. Do your thing. Get through it, work hard, and talk to your neighbor. There's nice people out there.